new video today on a little bit of tech so we have a wireless carplay adapter so if you've got a t6.1 or a um, t6 and it has carplay or in fact it works with lots of other vehicles a lot of the other lads here have got using these in their standard aftermarket stereos that have carplay so in theory they should work with them all but if you have carplay in your vehicle and you want it wireless uh, then this little dongle here will do the job so some T6.1s, like the higher ends one with the bigger screens, have wireless CarPlay built in already, but a lot of them with the standard stereo unit, and same with the T6s, don't have wireless CarPlay, and you have to plug it in with the cable. So this bit of kit, we've been trying for a while now. We had a previous version of this that we didn't think was particularly good, and we've now moved on to this one, and we really like it so much so we've decided to start stocking them. Really simple, nice and easy to use, wireless CarPlay device that will work with your transporter and lots of other vehicles, and it also allows you to mirror screen as well as use the CarPlay feature. So I'm just going to run you through quickly how easy it is to use and uh, show you the setup. All right, so wireless Apple CarPlay unit comes in a nice neat little box. Hardest thing about this whole process is opening the box because it's super tight. So here's one we opened earlier. But once you've got the lid off, nice tidy little black device on the inside. Again, this is really stiff to get out. So we've taken that out in advance, pop that in there. And then behind the package in here, if you just take this out, you'll see there's a piece of card and then there's two cables in there so you've got one which is standard usb to usb-c and then for this vehicle here we've got usb-c to usb-c so it comes with both cables so if you've got t6 you're going to need that one t6.1 or new shape crafter you're going to need this one because the ports just down here are uh, usb-c where you connected it to so all this is doing is it's just eliminating the need for you to have a cable from that port to your phone. It's basically just making it wireless CarPlay instead. So on this cable, both sides look exactly the same, but there is actually a slight difference. You can see on one side, there's a little symbol there. And that symbol there is showing you which side you plug into the vehicle. It matches the little symbol just there on the connector on the vehicle. So take the other end of that cable and pop it in the back of the little device there. And then when you plug it in the port, I think you can plug it in either of these two. Uh, so again, just make sure you use the one that's got the little symbol on there. Pop that in. And then turn your stereo on. So you'll see the little light appear on the unit there. That just lets you know that it's being powered up and it's now talking. So it takes a little while, it takes about 20 seconds, I think, for it to connect there, 15, 20 seconds, just for it to boot up and to recognize that it's got a CarPlay device set up for the first installment in the meantime you're going to need to get your phone and you're going to need to go to the settings on the phone and find your carplay section which is carplay just there so the screen's now booting up uh, you will just get a safety message just to let you know not to self-explanatory really but obviously don't watch videos while you're driving and then you get this display here this has quite a few other features like you can plug in and um, has built in memory so you can download movies and stuff that you can stream um, that's what the other folders are here for but we're going to set this up as carplay initially so if you just press the carplay button there and you'll see it start to in carplay on your phone you'll have this message come up asking you if you want to pair um, and then you'll see your standard CarPlay settings or screen will appear here, same as you used to when the cable's plugged in. They might, there'll just be a couple of extras. The main one here is the media cast. So that's just your normal CarPlay settings that you'd have uh, if you were done by a cable. Everything works in exactly the same way. Your Apple Maps, if you use them, your home button, uh, Google Maps, uh, and then whatever music streaming service you use. So if Spotify, Spotify on this one brings up your list of all your usual stuff that you listen to self-explanatory really exactly the same as before and then back to the home screen so from there the other thing that this has uh, a, a great feature of is that it allows you to uh, do screen mirroring so for for that we're going to press this media cast option just here and then it will take you back to the home screen and then phone cast it's going to ask you here to disconnect the carplay because it can't do both at the same time so disconnect the carplay and then you need to connect to your hotspots on your phone. So again, in your settings, general, and then you've got your uh, personal hotspots. So your hotspots are gonna need to be turned on. And then click the connect button here. Now you can see here with your device, so you'd pop that device in, select that device, 
and it's going to, I've previously connected, so it's not asked me to put my password in, but you'd need to put your password in. Uh, and then that's now connected to your hotspots. So anything that you stream is obviously using your internet on your phone. So it will be very much dictated by how strong your 3G is or 4G is to how well it streams. So once you're into this screen, this is obviously an Apple device. So you pressed Apple Cast. Then over onto your phone, you go down and swipe your option to do your screen mirroring and the name of the device will appear here. So just click on that screen mirroring. There you go, and it's and then it's all loaded up. And then you can see your iPhone is exactly mirrored on the screen there. So as you scroll through, the same happens on there. So you can use your internet, um, use your uh, social media stuff. Obviously don't do that while you're driving, but your Instagram will just load up and it will just copy exactly that on the screen. The same with other things, uh, your Facebook, if you your favorite, Facebook pages, of course. Uh, and then the other great feature on this is that you can also stream your YouTube. So um, just press play, it takes a little second for it to register that it's doing it. And then whatever you're watching on YouTube, it will appear on the screen there. Watch your favorite YouTube videos. That's what I like to do, sit and watch videos of me. So once you're done with the mirroring, just swipe your phone down and just stop the uh, mirroring just there and then your phone's back to appearing on here and then obviously you can go back into the settings there and reuse the carplay feature you'll just need to reconnect it but it'll, it'll remember all the settings because once you've got them stored in that device is then is connected to your phone so once you've got it connected if you then take the device on your phone to another vehicle with um, carplay it will automatically just plug in and recognize that it's going to work now and now give you a wireless carplay it doesn't yet allow you to do things like stream uh, Netflix or Disney Plus or Amazon Prime or anything like that. It may come with software updates in the future. I think at the moment it's more of a safety feature because obviously um, they, you can't be viewing your screen while you're driving. But whether there is an option for them to change their software on these in the future. The beauty with these little things is you can update the software. So it's just a case of plugging them into, as and when they bring out any software updates, plug them into your laptop, download the latest software, and if they figure out a way to do it, you'll be able to do it. But the main feature with this is the fact that you can have your wireless CarPlay, but screen mirroring is a bonus, certainly if you're watching your YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, nice and simple, great bit of kit. Uh, like I said, we've been trialing this in a few different vehicles, um, T6, T6.1, New Shape Crafter. Uh, some of the lads here have got um, CarPlay in their vehicles with aftermarket stereos, and they work in those as well. In theory, they should work with anything that has CarPlay. They should just be able to plug in and give you wireless CarPlay. So yeah, great little tool. If you know, know anybody that's got a transporter that wants to have wireless CarPlay, or you do, it's worth sharing the video with them. But there's no reason why it shouldn't work in anything else that's got CarPlay. We've not tested it in them other than a few aftermarket stereos here, and they all seem to work really well. So yeah, great bit of kit. Possible Christmas gift idea for somebody. But yeah, if you found this video useful, please do like the video. YouTube loves all the algorithms and loves all that likes and stuff. And then, um, yeah, share with anybody you think might find it useful. Please do subscribe to the channel. We've got a few other little techie devices coming out soon that you might find useful. So uh, well worth looking out for. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.